Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. On last equation. Let's assume I have a reaction here, I have a nickel here and I have a silver here. For this reaction is nickel solid becomes nickel 2 plus aqueous and then I have Ag plus aqueous gives Ag. Right? I have to find the Navas equation for this. Assuming they are not one molar. First write the balance equation of the cell. The balance equation is nickel solid reacts with or if you want to find the first half the electrode reaction reward at cathode nickel becomes nickel 2 plus it gets 2 electrons and here Ag plus will take 2 electrons to becomes 2 g correct to reaction this is at uh, anode oxidation this is at cathode reduction let's sum up this reaction you get nickel plus 2 ag plus will give you nickel 2 plus plus 2 ag that is my reaction right cell reaction that is my cell reaction i can and two electrons are used i can just use my uh, nurse law formula E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus RT by NF NS2 F ln of concentration of Ni2 plus concentration of Ag is 1 because it is solid divided by concentration of Ni solid 1 and concentration of Ag plus they are 2 Ag plus so it will be square because this is nothing but ln of K. That is the Nernst equation for this reaction. Correct. Let's see some application of Nernst equation. It is used to find EMF of the cell at any given concentration. That is, we have seen the most important role of Nernst equation. It is also used to find equilibrium constant. You see, the Nernst equation has an equilibrium constant E is equal to E naught minus R T by N F L N K. Right. So this equilibrium constant we can find. You can also use to find the Gibbs energy of the reaction, right? Because you have the K, you can find the Gibbs energy of the reaction minus NFE, right? G Gibbs energy, and you can find the E, you can find the Gibbs energy of the reaction. We'll see some numericals on this aspect. So let's take one example here. First, we will represent the cell in which the following reaction takes place. Mg is getting oxidized to Mg2 plus, and Ag is getting reduced from Ag plus to this is oxidation and the other is reduction. First, to represent the cell, so we can represent in this fashion Mg is becoming Mg2 plus oxidation. The concentration of all Mg2 plus is 0.13 M and then Ag plus concentration is 0.0001 M is becoming Ag. That is my cell representation. Now you have to find the E cell if uh, standard E naught is 3.17B, right? So we know that E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus RT by NF ln K. So let's put the value. What is E cell, E naught cell, 3.17 3 volt minus RT by NF. Or we can just, since these are happening at uh, 298 Kelvin, assuming at standard room temperature, this becomes 0 0.059 by NF, sorry, by N. And N is what? Two electrons, because two electrons are getting transferred here, right? Mg becomes Mg2 plus 2 electrons, 2 Ag becomes Ag2 electrons by 2 into this becomes log and K is what concentration of Mg2 plus by concentration of Ag plus whole square right I write here K is concentration of this by concentration of Ag plus whole square because there are two here so let's put the value here so Mg2 plus is uh, 0.13 by this is 0 0.0001 and this is square 
correct? This becomes log because we have seen the formula E is E naught 0 0.059 by n log k that is also there, right? So we have used that formula here. So this becomes you solve this, this is 3.17 v, you solve this, this is 0.21 v and the answer is 2.96. So if you see there is a drop in voltage. The standard voltage is 3.17 but the actual voltage is 2.96 because the concentration is not one molar. See, as I told that uh, Nernst equation can be used to find equilibrium constant, right? So, the equation we have E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by NF log of There is a mistake here, this is Q here. Correct. Now, this at equilibrium, what would happen? Q will become K. And at equilibrium, the cell will become dead. So, E cell will become 0. Please note, E naught cell will not become 0. This will become 0 because the cell will become dead, right? So, at equilibrium, this will become 0. E naught cell is a standard value. We know we can't change this. Minus 2.303 RT by NF. Q becomes K. So with this, log K is nothing but E naught cell into NF by 2.303 rd that is the formula with this you can easily find the k equilibrium for a cell correct see for daniel cell let's find this for daniel cell let's find this for daniel cell for daniel cell log k is equal to e naught cell we know is 1.1 volt for daniel cell n one two electrons f we know is uh, 96487 coulomb by 2.303 r we know 8.314 and t is 298 kelvin let's assume to the normal temperature we solve this you get 2 into 10 to the power sorry you'll get the value of k 10 to the power 37 because it's log k to solve this you get some value in this actually you get this is 37.288 yes so log k is 37.288 so k becomes 2 into 10 to the power 37 at 298 so we have to find the equilibrium constant for this reaction so we know that e cell is nothing but e naught cell let's assume that this is having a 298 kelvin use the shortcut formula minus 0 0.059 by n log of q right so at equilibrium this is 0 and q is k i can say this is 0 0 equal to e naught cell minus and this for this equation n is 2 Right, copper becomes Cu2 plus, so it's 2 electron 0 0.059 by 2 log of K. And E cell value is given, that is 0.46 volt. Right, this is also in volt, volt, volt cancel. So if you solve, log of K is nothing but 0.46 into 2 by 0 0.059, that is nothing but 15.6, that means K equilibrium is nothing but 3.92 into 10 to the power 15 and that is my answer. Correct. Thank you. 
Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.